In this video, I will explain what the Java lambdas. I will explain how to use the method reference, what are the functions, the suppliers and consumers, and what are the functional interfaces. Let's start with an example. Let's define a list of strings. It should contain messages, messages. I add some messages. Hello. Goodbye. I like your YouTube channel. Okay, first print all those messages. I will use a stream. You can see more about the streams in another video I made. See the link in the upper right corner. I will use for each and for each string I will print it. System out print line. Okay, let's run it. Hello, goodbye. I like your YouTube channel. Okay, fine. But I see that I have string defined here and string defined here, so I can maybe reduce this line just by using the method reference. Because as this method only has one input and I have one input, I can use it's this way with two dots twice. So I use this to call this method with the incoming parameters from here. What's the result? I still see the same. Good, that's the method reference. Let's now try to format the message. I will use static me uh, method format message incoming string I first save back the message because I will change it. I don't want to update the incoming parameters and I will return it at the end. First, I want to trim it. What does that mean? I will delete all the leading white spaces. And this method, I will use it in the map function with the method reference. So, scratch and format. Scratch is the name of the class, the two points, the four points, and the name of the method. So the incoming from map will be the incoming of format message, this way. See the results? Good. The hello don't have more white spaces that I had here. I can use the method reference with existing me methods or with my own methods. But this is too short and not usable anywhere else, so I will use I will try to use it inside the map. So incoming will have to execute this block. What's inside the curly brackets will be the code I want to execute. 
I will copy again all this one. Can delete the method. Run it again. Same result. So I can only specify the code inside the curly brackets, specify the name of the incoming method, the, the, the incoming input, the arrow, and this one, this will be the code executed. Instead of uh, having a method, I want this to be stored in, let's say, a variable, because I want to use in the method scope. How to, which kind of class is that variable? It's a function with an input and an output. And I'm gonna call it mapping and copy all what's inside. Mapping. So, the function will receive a string and return another string. In this case, I will only use the trim function, but I can't. I can return another thing like integer and make some split of white spaces. And specify how many words is there here. If I run it, I have one word for hello, one word for goodbye, and five words for I like your YouTube channel. So I transform, I map it a string, an incoming string, into an outgoing integer. Let's go back to the string string function. The function uses an input parameter and an output parameter. Let's see if I can only have an output parameter. Like a function with nothing as input but something as output so this is called a supplier I will supply something supplier the supplier only will give me something new so I have no incoming parameter only the outgoing which is let's say return a um, suffix my name Sergio Lama and finally semicolon this one I will add it use it here so message equal to uh, I increment it by supplier get because I want to get the result of the supplier. If I want to use the mapping, the function outside, its method is apply. I will have the incoming parameter and the outgoing type. So let's see the result now that I have the mapping which trims and add a suffix. Hello, Sergio Lema. Goodbye, Sergio Lema. I like your YouTube channel, Sergio Lema. Okay, it works. But let's see that this supplier only has one line, so I can simplify it even more. Just removing the curly brackets. As it's a supplier, I know that this is the only output I have. 
instead of the function because it's used in a map and the next operation is just printing I want to move the print action into the function so instead of returning I want to print it but this time the function only have has an input but no output so what's this class it's a consumer it consumes an input but re generates no output this mapping I can use it over there let's see the result nothing changes those functions can be used as input parameters of another method let's say that I have a, a method here uh, static void and the message static void string message I have the message and I have a consumer and what does the consumer it will accept the message this I can use it let's say in a for loop for each message I can handle the message and the consumer which is called mapping I remove the stream so I am using the consumer as input parameter for another method let's see the result exactly the same as before I can use the supplier or the consumer or the function as input parameters of some other methods but let's see more what's under those three classes if I see what's inside consumer I see that that's it I see that's an interface with the annotation functional interface the only thing it's one method then supplier is the same functional interface an interface and one method I can see for function but it's the same so those are interfaces with only one method is this special to those three or, okay. or I can use this syntax for other interfaces let's see an example another example with runnable with runnable which is an interface I have to declare the method if I see inside it's the same function interface interface and I have a method and the runnable I can use it inside a thread runnable start let's do a little sleep to wait until the thread is finished hi okay cool so that's the old way I can use runnable but with the lambdas I can use in another in a new way because run runnable as I, as we saw before is an interface with 
no return type and no increment type. So I can use maybe the same syntax as with the, the others. Let's you let's try it. Let's see if it works. Yeah. I can even simplify it more and still works. Because this syntax, the lambdas, I use it for any interface that only has one method. But let's say if if I create my own interface, I can use this syntax too. Let's create an interface. My printer print message with nothing. Let's my printer printer and let's try to use this same syntax. Okay, it works because I have the interface with only one message, with only one method. So the syntax of using the lambdas can be used in any interface that has that has one method. I can add the functional interface, the functional interface uh, annotation, and nothing changes. But if I have a second method both the annotation and the lambda is throwing me an error if i remove this i still have the error of the lambda definition so the lambdas can only be used with declaration of interfaces with one method so that's all thank you